Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd do a video that's a little bit different than my usual vlog or makeup get ready with me. I am gonna walk you through all the things that I do when I'm gonna be hosting and having people over in my home. So tonight I'm having some girlfriends over, so I'll show you what I usually do to kind of get everything ready so I feel like I'm being the best host, but also to make my guests feel most comfortable and welcome in the space. The number one thing I do when I know people are coming over is check the guest bathroom. So this is the bathroom in our apartment that everyone uses it's in the main area. And I just like to go through, wipe down the counter, make sure there's lots of soap, some hand lotion, a fresh towel, the toilet's clean, there's an extra roll of toilet paper out, just to make sure everything is fresh and clean. Nothing is worse than going to the bathroom at somebody's house and everything is just crusty. Then one last finishing touch, if I have the time, I like to put some fresh flowers in the bathroom. It just kind of livens up the space and since this bathroom is pretty plain with just the plain tan towels, not much else going on because we just don't use it very often, it's nice to put a little life in the space. The next space is the kitchen. So our kitchen and living room kind of just blend together. And I like to make sure the countertops are wiped down and then clean out all of the dishes if there's any dirty ones in the sink and throw them into the dishwasher. So I'll usually do this, you know, in the morning or even the day before. So it's not everything getting ready all at once. So I'll throw them in the dishwasher, run the dishwasher, and then try to have it so the empty or the dishwasher is empty by the time people are coming over, just so then when there's extra glasses and plates and stuff. I can just throw them into the dishwasher and not have to worry about emptying it, putting those in then, you know, the whole switch. Then in the bathroom, how I did the flowers, I'll also go back in the kitchen and put away anything that I know we'll be using. Like I'm putting away here, the dish rack, the extra kind of scrubby and dish brushes, just because I know I'm not going to use those when people are over. And then I'll go ahead and put out some fresh towels, a fresh rag. And then something I always notice is when I have the bag for any fruit or stickers on the fruit, it just makes things look a little more cluttered to me. So a lot of times I'll go in if I have the time and cut open the fruit so it's just kind of sitting there in the bowl. With our entryway being kind of narrow, I like to make sure all of, the sh of our shoes are put away, but just so when guests are over, there is space for them to put their shoes, their coat, their bags. I definitely don't do a deep dive clean every time people come over, but I do like to go through with a vacuum just in the main areas where I know we're gonna be, just so there's not little dust bunnies floating around and extra dog hair. I also try to remember to take out the trash and the recycling before people come over so that way when people are over I don't have to worry about taking it out if it gets full but people have plenty of room to just throw things in the trash and the recycling and it actually makes it easier than for yourself when you're doing cleanup because a lot of times people will just if there is space. As for the living room usually it's pretty tidy I just have to usually fold the blankets fluff the pillows and it's good to go. Alright, it is a little later. I'm done with all of the cleaning stuff for now, but I'm gonna get started on the food. Um, I'm gonna make a couple of little flatbreads. I'm, one that is brie, fig, and prosciutto. One is already made, but it's like a barbecue chicken one. And then one that is your classic margarita. So we're gonna get all the food prepared. I haven't decided yet if I want to do like a little signature drink or not. Sometimes I'll do that or sometimes I'll just have things out for people to make what they want to have. But I do set out the glasses so people don't have to look for them. They don't have to ask. They can just grab the glasses that are out on the counter and use those.
gonna do is the margarita. So I have the tomatoes, lots of basil, little mozzarella balls, and then big mozzarella log. have all of the food prepped so one of the pizza flatbreads there's the other one the other one is in the freezer a little cake and then the arugula will go on top of the prosciutto one but then I have all my little drinks up there refrigerated and then one of the last well not last depend not necessarily the last thing I do but one of the things that I like to do before people come over to is I ran the dishwasher this morning as you saw, and then I'm gonna empty it now. So then when I'm cleaning up later tonight or tomorrow, I can just put everything in there and I don't have to worry about if it's dirty, if it's clean, it's full, all of that. I'm gonna go and rinse some of the dishes just because some of the ones in the back have been there a little while and just to make sure they're clean. All right, everybody, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you all for coming along and watching this one. I hope it gave you some good ideas next time you are hosting to consider. And if you wanna see more videos of just kind of tips and tricks that I like to do and have just kind of collected over the years, make sure to like this one and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.